Hi boys and girls and welcome to the Sunday School service. I'd like to start out our service with a word of prayer. Please bow our heads as we start with that. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the time that we get to be here to worship. I just pray that as we learn the lesson that we're going to learn today, that we may just get everything into full knowledge. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. And now I would like to welcome our praise and worship team. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the year, this is the year that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in Him, and be glad in Him. This is the year that the Lord has made. Wasn't that amazing, just a time to sing and worship God? And now I gladly introduce the one and only teacher, Esther. Wow, didn't we have a nice session with praise and worship? Can we give a clap to Jasmine like we always do it? Give me a good one, a nice one, and a better one. Wow, that was so lovely. And today, we have an interesting lesson. Do you remember the last three lessons what we have been talking about? We've been talking about prayer. What did we say? We looked at what prayer is. We looked at how God answers prayer. And we looked at how what now we want to do today is how we should go to God after he has answered our prayer. Do you remember our first lesson? Yes, about Hannah. That she prayed and God gave her a son. And the second lesson, it was about Jonathan, how we should pray for ourselves and our friends. And today, we have a scripture reading from Luke chapter 17, verse 11 to verse 19. The ten lepers. And I want us to look at something very, very simple called thanks. Now, in front of me, I have two boxes. And it's a story that I was told when I was a small girl. That Peter, when he went to heaven, God took him to a room. And in the room, he found two boxes. There was a big box and there was a small box. Then he asked, why is that one written thanks and the other one is written prayer request? And why is one so big and the other one so small? And this is what the angel said. The small one represent the people who go back to God after their prayers have answered. And the big one represent 
all the needs we take to God. Just imagine, so many of us, we keep on praying, pray, 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 pray. And there are so many, but very few of us remember to go back to give thanks. That is why you have a very small box. Now, if you look at the story for today about the 10 lepers, if you read, and I know mommy will help you to read, there were 10 lepers who went and they met with Jesus. But remember, because they were lepers, they were not allowed to get near. They stood so far, actually 33 meters away. And then when they heard Jesus was passing, they screamed and they shouted, Jesus, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And then when Jesus looked at them at a distance, he told them, go and show yourself to the priest. Now remember, leprosy was such a bad disease. How many of you have been sick of chicken pox? Do you remember the way you look? All spots, all white. Now, leprosy was worse. When you got leprosy, every part of you was sick. The fingers would start cutting, the eyes would get sick, you never would feel the taste of food, you are so sick. So they were told, don't stay near people. The only way you could know that you're well is by going to the priest. So they started walking as Jesus had told them. Remember our motto in Sunday school? We always say obedience is immediate. So when Jesus spoke to them, immediately they started walking. They started walking and walked and walked. But while they were on the way, Wow, guess what? Wow, they looked at their hands. They were okay. They looked at their fingers. They were okay. Ah, oh. And then they were like, wow, 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 we have been healed. Then one said, no, 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 we can't do this. He decided to go back to Jesus. So he ran. He ran. And when he got near where Jesus was, he started singing singing, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. And then when he got to where Jesus was, he fell down at his feet and he worshipped. So two things this person did. He sang and then he worshipped. So what should we do when God has answered our prayer? We should do what we are calling simple GPS. I don't know whether you have heard of that. What is the meaning of GPS? It's not about geographical. It's very simple. G for giving. When the man came, he gave thanks. He bent down and worshipped. So giving should be the first thing we do when God answers our prayer. What should we give? We give ourselves to God. We give our worship to God. Remember we are told you should worship the Lord with all your heart, with all your strength, and with all your might. So giving means that we say God, we have come back to you, we forgive us, make us what you want us to be. And God, everything we have is yours. And why did the man come back? Because he realized that everything he had before he was sick, it was given by God. So let us remember, even if we are in lockdown, even we, if we are at home, let us give. Let us continue giving. Remember when we come to church? Do you remember what we do? We always worship God with our giving. Now, how many of you have been giving? It's like you forgot. Please remember, the fact that we are on lockdown does not mean we don't give. Please remember, let's give. Give ourselves, give some offering to the house of God as saying, Thank you. Number two is P. Remember we have said GPS. P is for prayer and praise. 
the man came and fell down. Often when we pray, we do what? We fall down on our knees and then we praise. So like David would say, we give thanks to the Lord. We thank God for all his blessings. So P is for prayer and praise. And the last one is S. Sing and study. You sing and study. Study the word of God and sing psalms to him. So we have said today that when God answers prayer, we do what? GPS. Give and then we pray and we sing. Imagine it's as simple as that. Now will you forget? Remember now. Can you remember what we do in our church? Remember why we pass when we are going to give our offering? I don't know whether you have seen the boxes which are there. On one side, you have seen some baskets. They are called prayer basket. But what is in the middle? We always have our treasure box, the big box. Now that is why we come and put in our envelopes because the envelopes, they carry our seed of thanksgiving. Now I hope you have enjoyed the lesson for today. Now we can have our memory verse and our memory verse is from Psalms 119 verse 1. It says, blessed are those who walk who are undefiled in their walk. What is the meaning of defile? Defile is getting dirty, it's like sinning. Those who had replosy, they were separated. When we sin, we are defiled. It means we are separated. And if we are separated, it means we need to confess our sins. So Psalms 119 verse 1, Blessed are the undefiled in their ways, because they will please God, or they will be called the children of God. If you look at the good news, it says, Blessed are the pure in heart, those who walk in the way of God. Do you remember that? So please make sure whatever version you're going to read in the Bible, whether you have good news, whether you have King James, blessed are those whose way is clear, whose way is right with God. Now the Lord bless you. I have a simple song for us today, very simple. It says, we thank God for what he has done. We thank God for what he is doing and we thank God for what he will do. We thank you, Lord, for the things you have done. We thank you, Lord, for the things you are doing. We thank you, Lord, for the things you will do. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord. Now that ought to be our song. Now, for an assignment today, there is what we call a prayer journal. A prayer journal. Does your family have a prayer journal? Do you pray together? Now when you pray together, you ought to keep a prayer journal. What is a prayer journal? A prayer journal is where you record everything the Lord has done for you. It will have the date when you prayed, it will have the things you are thanking God for. It will also have the prayer request for the day. And it will have the answers that you have already received. So please take your notebook and draw a prayer journal. And every day remember to keep a prayer journal. So as we finish the service, I will invite Yasmin who will conclude the session for us. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you. I love you and Jesus loves you too. That was an amazing lesson. I too give thanks for what I have learned. Let's always remember to give thanks. It's an amazing thing to do. If somebody does something kind for you 
always be nice and say thank you. Remember to also study the word that we have been taught today and give thanks and sing and praise. I'd like to close this service with a word of prayer. Please bow your heads with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for what we've learned. Thank you for GPS. Thank you for you answering our prayers. I just pray that as we look more into your word, that we may grow into understanding of what you're teaching us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and see you next Sunday.